hi guys so maybe here welcome back to my kitchen welcome back to my channel thank you all for coming back so today i'm going to be cooking a goosey soup these are melon seed um you can use uh, pepitas or sunflower if you want um, instead of the melon seed if you can't find a goosey um, these are my ingredients these are like dried um, stripped catfish these are smoked dried um, catfish um, this is beef this is cow tribe cow skin um, shrimp like frozen big shrimps these are crayfish blended and this is my bitter leaf i'm going to use bitter leaf for this one and i'm going to add a little bit of um spinach my spinach is frozen spinach so watch this face thank you all i start with washing my meat and putting in a clean pot and i'm going to use the beef and the tripe is in the pot now I'm going to add some chopped up onions. I'm going to add one maggi crayfish and one no. And then I put a little bit of salt in it. Then you cover it up to boil. So while the beef is boiling, then you face your um, melon seed. So with this melon seed, you can either blend them um, with some capsicum and onion and chili, or you can blend them by itself. Um, today i think i'm going to uh, blend them with the capsicum and chili and onion okay while the beef is busy boiling and cooking it's the time it's time for the to blend the egusi or melon seed like i said you can use pepitas or you can use sunflower they'll do the same purpose some people opt for pepitas or sunflower because they say it's the most healthy version of the um melon seed but i think they're all seed i don't know if you know any reason if you can back it up with some science please put a comment down below and let me know so i can be a little i, I will have awareness too thank you so now i'm going to blend it that's how it looks like and you see it so you want this smooth consistency and then I need to put it in a container now I'm going to add the cow skin to my beef that's already boiling so I add this at this time because my cow skin is very soft normally it comes hard but this one I know it so I know it's not going to take long before it comes soft because it's already soft and my beef is the hard one it takes a long time before it becomes soft and tender so I'll just add it now Cover it up so they all boil together. You wait until about 10 or 15 minutes. I said I blend the melon. It's already blended. And now I'm going to blend the capsicum, chili, and onion. As you can see, the beef and the cow skin, they're all boiling together. I'm going to add the the blended capsicum and um, onion and chili to it 
so that they all so that the flavor will just go right in so i've added the dried prawn i've added the um dried catfish the stripped catfish the reason why i use the smaller um prawns as you can see is when you take the pandan yam in in your hand and you take some soup there will surely be some little goodies going in with you which is always nice then i'm gonna add the crayfish and then we'll cover it and wait for it to boil so i've removed the beef the beef is nice and tender and i still have my cow skin and my tribe inside boiling because it's still taking a little bit of time to um, get soft so now i'm going to add the um the dried catfish so that it will just soak up the juice you know you know what i mean you know what i'm talking about <laughs> i'm so excited does anybody get as excited as i am when they are cooking you know, you know when you're cooking and you, I just love cooking and I love and I just can't wait to see the end result see there you go so you put them in and then you cover it up so it's steam next I added the prawns the fresh corn so we're waiting for all of them to cook now I'm going to face the blended melon so now I'm going to fry the egusi that I've already blended. So I like to fry it, you know. This egusi that I'm cooking at the end is going to look like um, traditional wedding egusi. <laughs> if you have ever been to a Edo traditional wedding, I don't know about any other tribe, Edo traditional wedding, you will see in the inside the room, they will give the adults, the old people some delicious soup like that. Egusi soup or bolo soup, but this egusi soup, oh my god it looks always looks yummy this is kind of a good thing to, I'm trying to achieve today um so watch this face so you make your oil a bit hot <clears throat> you can use smaller quantity of oil if you want um just let the oil out. Make it a little bit hot. Not you don't want to bleach it. You don't want to um, turn it to make it look like vegetable oil. You just want it hot, and then you put your egusi, and then you fry it. Then after frying it, like your your egusi will be like egg. <laughs> Jesus, I wish I can describe. I don't know how to describe this. Thing. Sorry, I had to speak pigeon English because you know English is my second language. <laughs> okay, watch it. I'm just waiting for the oil to get a little bit hotter. So once your oil is hot, try not to set up your smoke alarm like I just did. And then you start frying. that the egusi is fried now we're gonna put it inside the pot and in the meantime I remove the fish you can see that all the sauce is in the fish now so when you bite in your fish um, it's very succulent and yummy so now and you can see all my oil is gone now you might have been saying oh my gosh you put too much oil look the egusi has swallowed all the oil Then you slowly add your egusi to your to your stock. And let it boil 
in low heat then you come back by the time you come back you're going to add the bitter leaf or your spinach like i say you don't have to fry your goosey you could have just um uh blend it and put it in the water and add your oil to it like that people do it that way and it still turns out okay but you know i just like that fried flavor it's just rich flavor it's um it's the authentic flavor it just takes me back home so when i was a little girl and i sit next to my grandma when she's in a party she gets the good stuff <laughs> so i know how the good stuff tastes like and i know how the quick one you know the quick one tastes like yeah i mean this kitchen <laughs> so i added a little bit of water for it to boil and i'm going to let it boil a little bit further because you want your egusi to be cooked <clears throat> Cover it up and let it steam. Reduce your heat and wait. Now I add back the beef. Turn it in. That soup, namonikila. <laughs> and let it boil a little bit. Can you see my beautiful looking juicy soup? Huh? It looks delicious. Now I'm going to add the bitter leaf. Like I said, you can put any um, leaf that you want. But today, I decided to put bitter leaf. You don't need too much of a bitter leaf. The soup is bitter. The leaf is bitter. So, you don't want too much. You don't want the bitter leaf to overpower your egusi soup. And then you can add a little bit of spinach if you want. You just turn it in. So, that's my beef. You can see the cow skin. You can see the prawns. Can see the stomach where's the stomach everything is here sharp almost everything <laughs> now i'm going to bring back the fish and cover it up and let it boil And then you test it and see if you need more salt or mangi cube and your soup is basically ready from now a goosey soup is ready guys so you can use it to eat your favorite fufu pandel yam eba some people use it to eat starch if you want but the starch you can put um, if you put pepper soup spice, it's a, a lot nicer, but you can use it. Oh my god, this soup, the way it looks and the way it tastes makes me so emotional because it reminds me of my grandma. This is exactly how my grandma cooks I goose this soup. Thank you all. I'm going to go make my pandan yam now. When you open your pot of soup, what does it say about you? Does it say, oh, this is delicious or does it say, oh, it's manageable? This is the kind of soup you say, oh, I've made some soup. Would you like something to eat? They say, no, I'm not hungry. Once they see this, oh, I beg, let me test a little bit. <laughs> Mommy Bee's kitchen, <laughs> where everything is made with love. <laughs> soup is ready. A goosey soup on flake. So how do you eat your pandan yam? Like this. All rolled up. 
I try. <laughs> I'm trying new skills. I'm a bee's kitchen. <laughs> soup is best to eat it with yellow gari <laughs> that's another option for you